Okay, today I will be showing you how to solve a division equation using partial quotients. Partial quotients, we are going to take the number 9,552 and divide it by 24. So to start with, you put your 9,552 as your dividend and your 24 is your divisor. So, what I tell the kids is they need to find 24 and take it into somewhere close to 9,000 without going over. I say 9,000 because if you just round, you can't round up, you have to stay the same. So, 9,000 will be kind of close to 9,552 without going over. So, we're going to try to take numbers, multiply them by 24 until we get close to that. So, this is a trial and error type of thing. So, I tell the kids it's okay if you don't get it right the first time. 0 times 4, 0 times 4, 4 times 2, placeholder, 2 times 0, 2 times 0, 2 times 2 is 4. And then you add these together. So you get 4,800. That's not really close to 9,000, so I would tell the kids, go higher, and let's see what happens. So let's try 300 times 24. 0 times 4, 0 times 4, 4 times 3 is 12. Put your 0 placeholder. 2 times 0. 2 times 0. 2 times 3 is 6. Add your partial products. 7,200. So, again, not high enough. So, we can try again. Let's try 350 times 24. 0, 20, 14. Placeholder. 0, 10, so then you add your partial products again, you should get 8,400. I feel like that's pretty close, so we're just going to go ahead and use 350. So you take your 350, put it on top. This is your first partial quotient. 350 times 24, we found out, is 8,400. So you take your 8,400 and you subtract. 2 minus 0, 5 minus 0. 5 minus 4 is 1, 9 minus 8 is 1. You should get 1,152. So again, we have another part where we do trial and error, and you take 24 and multiply it by something to get close to 350 without going over. So let's try 24 times 50 and see what we get. 0, 0, 0, 20, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Add your partial products, you get 1,200. I went over, so you are not allowed to go over, so you need to go back to 24 times 40. 0, 0, 0, 16, and 960 is what you should get after you add your partial products. This is pretty close. 960 is pretty close to 1,152 without going over. So again, you take your 40. Put it above your 350. 40 times 24, we found, gives you 960. And then you have to subtract. 2 minus 0. 5 minus 6, you can't do that. So you go next door and you borrow, making the 5 a 15. 15 minus 6 should be 9. 0 minus 9, you can't do that. You go next door and you borrow. 10 minus 9 is 1. 192. Now, since this is not a zero, you still have to continue going. 24 times what is going to give you somewhere close to 192? Let's try 24 times 8. Okay? Three time, or 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 3 is 19. So you should get 192. So because we have the exact same, we didn't go over, we actually got the actual number. You put your 8 at the top. 8 times 24 is 192. You subtract. And at the top, now because we have 0, you are done. So at the top, we have 350, 40, and 8. These are all called your partial quotients. You take your partial quotients. You add them together. And that gives you 398. So 9,552 divided by 24 equals 398 is your quotient. And that's how you do partial quotients.